Back to Dempsey. Good play by Mark Coyle, but it falls his way to Dempsey again. Shot on. Oh. Sean Brennan with it. I think what I said at the start about uh, at the start, sorry, about them applying themselves correctly. I don't think they have done that yet. Mm. Um, and especially a UCD UCD team that's already relegated. Mm. Nothing to play for. They've, they've sort of got a little bit of freedom, and that's what can definitely be a little bit scary for, in the first 20 minutes. Um, Barrett trying to get a chance moving forward. Clips it forward to Jack Moylan. Oh, it's a nice touch. Ooh. Oh, penalty. There is a penalty. And it's very silly for Maynard Clancy. There's absolutely zero need for what he did there. And Moylan. Yeah, it's just a pull back on the shoulder, I think. He's come to the right decision there, the referee. I'll have to see it back, though. Mm. Um, especially when I was here, so... As much as you'd never encourage diving or anything mm. like that, the, <laughs> there's, there's definitely contact there, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's clever. It's clever from Jack, and, yeah, this this will be big if this goes in. Jack Moylan up against Keane Moore. Jack Moylan puts it in, and Shelburne take the lead in his last dance in Tonka Park. Goes over and appreciates the Riverside. And Scott, there was going to be no other man to do it. No other man. Get the big man, last home game, slotted it into the corner. And uh, I think even in that, 12 yards out, just showing his quality right mm. into the bottom corner. Makes the move to Lincoln in the off-season. 21 minutes into the game. Jack Moylan puts Shelburne in front. And see him showing real appreciation for the Riverside. And it comes from Barrett's ball over to Moylan. And... Look at what we're saying here, Clancy doesn't really do himself any favours, does he? Pull Shaq Moylan's arm and he's always going to go down, especially when going out away from the goal. Slots it away to the left-hand side of Keane Moore's goal. Shells take the lead. And it's a hell of a range of passing that Paddy Barrett's got on him, though, just mm. even from training. Mm. Um, the strike of this now. Two commentary, but it's into Cabral now. Sands uses the man up. Jarvis. Harry Wood, this is nice from Shelbourne. Harry Wood on his left foot. Ooh. Cabral tried to follow the run in. Shells did really well there. Yeah, he's going quickly back to that. I, um, yeah, wh when you're in the goalkeeping situation, you never really want to be too complimentary because that's the person you're competing with. But coming out now, what a what a season he's had. Mm. Um, I think he's made the team of the year, hasn't he? So uh, mm. what could cause Shells a problem. It's weird and winning. It's not a bad ball either. Malloy wins the header and it falls to the back post. And UCD causing problems here. It's clipped back in by Dempsey. They still have a UCD. A chance to get it in, and they definitely, can't in the end. And it's in the game that um, I actually played with Sean Brennan um, when I was on trial at Southampton, and he's got a hell of a delivery on him. Ooh, good play with Brennan. Mac Moylan now does really well. Oh. Jack Moylan! Good save by young Keen Moore and goal. He saved it with his face there, yeah. Mm. They Trust all, me, I know what they're they like. They're, Scott, they're, don't they? they're horrible. <laughs> that'll, take, that'll take him a minute. So mm. that. Especially on a cold, wet night like this. Sure. Mm. Back to him now, and he's not happy with that, is he? Okay, now it's good play. It's a nice ball in as well. And Harry Fisk had to be on his toes. He's done well there, Scott. Yeah. I, think I don't think they, they, they have, have wins against enough. Bowles. They have wins against Pats, of course. The draw here with Shamrock Rovers in the last minute. Gavin Malloy with the goal. Um, they've done it in games this season. Harry Fisk has pumped out a bit of ragged, and he's put it in. And used to have scored. And Harry Fisk, the first time he's been tasked with something, he's given away a goal. And used to have a goal here, Scott. And you could hear in my voice, I was shocked. I think you were just as shocked here. Yeah, I think that goes back to, to what I was saying in the first half. Like it's after not playing for a long time, it's, it's very, very tough thing to come into it's a horrible game to come into and and i do feel for the lad there mm -hmm. and I've, I've been there i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sit here and make out like i haven't been there before and it's just the wrong timing mm, play back to him yeah and he just gets a caught under his feet and ragged does really well in fairness to him I he's on his toes a little bubble on it to be honest i know mm. what that pitch is like i've, I've played there um I mean, this is what the gap has done so well over the last two years making the right subs at the right time and, and uh, probably a couple of years of work comes down to Half Jarvis an hour. now, penalty. and he goes down, and yeah. it's a penalty to Shelburne. And Jarvis there does really well, Scott, doesn't he? Very, very well. 
Shells haven't had enough of it. They're complaining, but for me, they're, they're two penalties. They're not. For me, I'm not a penalty taker. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but as, for, a, as, a goal, other, as a goalkeeper, I'd stick. I'd stick. I reckon Jack might go the same side. Moylan scores! Of which I was wrong. Yeah. Kia Moore had the same thinking as <laughs> me. Moore, yeah. he, went, he went the same side, yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, even if he went the right way with that, you're, not, sa you're penalty, not saving that. Yeah, you're, not, yeah, yeah. you're not saving either penalty, to be fair. Mm. And that's it from Shells. And two penalties, that have been the difference here. And UCD, I suppose, Scott, I know we're saying they're definitely penalties, and we did think what they were. But I'm very frustrated to be given away two penalties. 100%. I think that the second one you've sort of got to make a decision as a defender. Um, the first one, it, it's a mistake. But yeah, the, the second one going through you, as, as a defender, you, you've got to make the decision whether to try and get the ball, try and do something, try and get your body in the way. Um, so it's more understandable. I think if Shells do win this game, it'll be down to that first penalty. Um, you have to respect the honesty from Scott Van der Sloos and Will Jarvis does really well here. Picks the ball. Off the UCD player, Will Jarvis still with it. Will Jarvis on to his left foot, Will Jarvis. Good block. And really well defended from UCD there. It's a great drive. It's just good play all round, to be fair. Um, Will Jarvis has obviously done the right thing. Didn't have, didn't quite have that little bit of pace to get past him. Um, and it's a good block from the defender. It's really good play by Jarvis. Jesse isn't it? Dempsey, he's done well Try today. And he's in on his left foot now, Jesse Dempsey. Michael Raggett. Ozam on the overlap. Ball in, it's not a bad ball in either, and it could be in. It's in, and UCD make it 2 all here. And again, a shell shock like reaction around Tolga Park, and it just gets clipped in to the net. Not a whole lot Harry Fisk could do about it. You can hear Moylan trying to rally the troops from the Riverside, and it's 2 all here in Tolga Park. UCD have done it again. Again, just going, going back to what we were saying a minute ago there, another big moment coming to the end of this season. Stuff like that, and I'm not going to sit here and say he meant it. Um, if he did, then it's it's definitely the goal of the season, but, yeah, <laughs> it's... Uh, Here's a replay of a hurt. Big moment. When I think Gab Hodgins end, came he? on mm. the age of 16 against Bowers away, and he hit the bar, or mm. he put it over the bar, and... And yeah, that was his moment, hopefully. Moylan now. There's another on his moment right foot, here. Jack Moylan. And he puts it in. And Jack Moylan gets the hat trick. And Shelburne Lee, 3 2 here. And Scott, I can't quite believe what we've just seen. What a touch. What a finish. What a player as well. And it could be the biggest of goals for Shells. Scrap what I said earlier, Lincoln are getting promoted this year. <laughs> <laughs> and what a goal it was, Scott Neil. What a finish that is, by the way. The replay with her. Clipped forward into Jack Moylan. What a touch, first of all. Hello. Oh, yes. Oh, what a goal. What a goal from Jack Moylan. He's going to get booked for taking his jersey off. I think it's well worth it. Mm. <laughs> <One minute after>. <laughs> <laughs> the referee blows his whistle. Big win for Shelburne there. Oh god. What a and win a big win in the other game as well. So the dumb dog. Jack Moylan. All the lads, all the fans running out to him. And it feels like a big result, Scott, doesn't it? The way the game panned out. Yeah. It feels Get like a 3 2 win. You get the points, and that's that's all that matters. He's getting lifted up like Pele up there. What a season it's been for Shells. <laughs> what a season it's been for Shells here in Tolga Park. Scott, thanks for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, appreciate I that. I wish you all the best in the future. I appreciate that. God bless you. I'm sure it won't be my last time at Tolga Park, but hopefully the last time commentating. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks, Mill, for everyone to join in, for joining in tonight. Shelbourne 3, UCD 2, a massive result for Shelter in Tolga Park in their push for Europe.